to this game. You look at all of those names and they're unavailable. <laughs> it's pretty daunting. Now Atlanta starting five. Young is flanked by Herter in the backcourt. Danilo Gallinari out there with John Collins. And it's Snell in at the three. And for Toronto, Lowry and Powell are the backcourt set. Then it's Aaron Baines. Then it's DeAndre Bembry. And it's Watanabe in at the power forward. Nothing more exciting than opening day in the NBA. Grant, how pumped are these players? These players are super pumped. All the hard work in the offseason, working on improving your game, becoming better. You have a chance to show it right now, opening day. Uh, of course, it's a long season, but the journey begins now. Oh, explosive crossover. How's that for a move? Now here's Powell, Herder defending. Oh, they get a hand on it. Stolen by Collins. The three ball sends it home from three-point land. But Danilo Gallinari, obviously much more known as a scorer, but how about the court vision there? Lowry outside. Hits a three-pointer. Both teams are starting to find a rhythm here. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Here's Young. Down low. Collins passes to Gallinari. The three-pointer off the mark. Powell with it. He had 25 points in his last game. Pass to Lowry. From downtown, Atlanta with a rebound. Man, that's his shot. <laughs> Maybe he was too wide open. They get it back. And he battles for the ball, gets his second chance bucket. Herter's got his second bucket of the night. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. No doubt those extra possessions can really add up against you when you do not take care of the defensive glass. Lowry left side. Five on the clock. Takes the three. Toronto the rebound. Here's Watanabe. Pass to Bembry. Lowry outside. Fires for three. Lowry with another miss. Atlanta has gone one for three from outside so far in this game. And here's Collins. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Young can't hit. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Well, a breakthrough season for Norman Powell in 2020. Just about doubled his scoring average. And Grant, he did it with elite efficiency. NBA Powell has shown time and time again that he can light it up. He is great from anywhere on the floor. When he gets going, he can take over a game. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. And he misses the second one as well, so 0 for 2 that time. Well, Grant, you look at the role that John Collins plays on this team. He's everything you could possibly want from a modern power forward. And B.A., he really is. He's hyper-efficient with his touches both at the rim and outside on the perimeter. Of course, he gives you everything you want from the position and does it extremely well. Still incredibly young, and the upside is through the roof for Collins. Lowry drives in. On target from about 13 feet. Lowry's got five points. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. They know that if this guy goes off, their chances of winning rise exponentially. Baseline jumper. They get the rebound. Controls the rebound and the putback. 
You have to box out Collins. When you don't, this is exactly what happens. Toronto trailing. Pass to Watanabe. And we're just over three and a half minutes into this first quarter. Lowry, no good. For Atlanta, they've gone five of nine from the floor. There's Young with the three. Drains the triple. Five points in the game. <laughs> Their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Here's Watanabe. 4-3. That's good. And so Lowry with the assist. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. And you would expect nothing less from these two. Taking pride and making plays. Pass to Collins. Now Herder. Back to Collins. Deflected! Here's Powell. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Let's the three fly. And the Raptors, another three. Absolutely critical that Norman Powell expand his range. The more he makes that three, the more the floor opens up. Pass to Herder. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. And Kevin Herter, a valuable role player for this team, Grant. I think he still needs to make a leap in order to be an X-Factor while on the court. I agree, B.A. I mean, you feel like at times Herter can be a little passive when it comes to looking for his own shot. And, and certainly he hasn't established himself yet as a defensive player. So you really want him to make up for it on the offensive end. But to do that, Herter would be best served to be an instant offense type of shooter. Here's Powell. Pass to Watanabe. Now Baines. Back to Powell. Launches a three. Sinks it from distance. Powell's got his second bucket on the night. Well, on the catch and shoot, Norman Powell ready to rise and fire. Young finds Gallinari. Outside Herder. The three is up. Atlanta gets it back. It's stolen by Baines. Now here's Powell. He's got six. Pass to Lowry. Launches it. Rebound Atlanta. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Lowry against Young. Count the basket. Young's got his third bucket of the night. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Lowry with it. He's got five. Unloads from 13. Rebound Atlanta. Collins has got his fifth rebound in this one. The Hawks have gone eight for 14 from the floor. Here's Young. And the layup is good off the glass. Young's got nine points. You can see it. Once this guy gets his rhythm, he is so hard to slow down. What an excellent night for him and his team. Lowry outside. Pass to Baines from outside the arc. And the Raptors get it back for three. Powell goes up again. And the basket by Baines. Activity on the glass. That's a possession that could have gotten away from them. Here's Young. Really played well against Orlando in his last game. Up and over Lowry. Here's Collins. He's looking good. Two buckets and three attempts. Already six of their points coming off second chances. Pretty impressive. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Lowry outside. Drops in the three. Give him eight points now. Well, a trifecta from Kyle Lowry. This guy gets great lift on his jump shot. 
Young against Lowry. Powell with a steal. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That one on Herter. Well, one thing there's no question about is that Norman Powell is a gifted athlete. Now it's about rounding out that game, particularly his shooting. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he drops the first. He's perfect from the line this time. You want to contest this guy's shot, but you absolutely don't want to send him to the line. He will make you pay. Outside Gallinari. Pass to Okongwu. It's tipped. Powell with a steal. Step back and fire. That went off the back iron and out. Atlanta's gone only two of six from the three-point line in this first quarter. Here's Okongwu. And there's the rejection. Here's Thomas. Boucher outside. Lowry outside. Pure from three-point range. Lowry's got 11 points. All five of the last buckets they've given up have been from downtown. Pass to Okongwu. It's Gallinari with a drive. Count it. More points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. Toronto trailing. And here's Lowry. He's got 11. And the layup falls. He's got 13. Well, they're calling his number time and time again, and he is delivering. Outside Bogdanovich. Pass to Okongwu. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. We all know that close games can boil down to who makes a play on defense. And I'll tell you what, that was one heck of a rejection right there. And here are the Raptors now. They're on a 12 to 4 run. Lowry outside. I got your help. Here's Johnson. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. And the free throw, no good. The Hawks trailing. Now Hill. And so it looks like the Hawks will retain possession here. Outside Bogdanovich. Pass to Fernando. And down it goes. Dunked it through off a beautiful setup. Well, what he lacks in size for a typical center, he makes up for with all that athleticism. Boy, can he elevate. Lowry drives in. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. 
Well, throughout his career, Kyle Lowry has been fantastic on defense, as tenacious as a defender as they come, Grant. B.A., one of my favorite players lane. in the league. The I mean, of course, Lowry's That's small, up. but has a low center of gravity. Bigger guards can't move him, and he can stay with all the smaller guards, too. Lowry's elite when it comes to taking charges. That free throw good from Lowry. Well, you think about Kyle Lowry and the trajectory of his career. I think it's hard to remember coming out of Villanova those first few seasons. He was not getting a ton of minutes gets more of an opportunity with Houston and then ultimately ends up in Toronto and becomes one of the driving forces in the most successful eras of the organization. And this is a shot he can definitely make and the defense not a factor at all. Boucher outside to the left wing. Here's Thomas defended by Bogdanovich. Boucher no good. You know Doris with Lowry he's one of the most respected guards in the NBA. This young guy carves his way into a six time all star more importantly NBA champion. He put in the work he puts in the competitive spirit and this guy just plays smart winning basketball defensively you can't afford to get stuck on the pick you know exactly what that takes it takes energy it takes activity it takes intensity pass to Lowry for three he buries it from three Lowry's got 19 points Kyle Lowry's best skill might be his competitiveness the answer from three they set the screen here's Bogdanovich the rebound by Lowry. The Raptors with a lead. Here's Thomas. That's good. And so Lowry with the assist. Lackluster defense. Showing no desire to chase shooters off that line. Pass to Okongwu. Here's Fernando. Outside Hill. Ref's calling it close already as he picks up a quick early foul. Harris has checked in for Toronto. And the Hawks making a change here as well. Collins checked in. <laughs> 24 seconds left in the first. Outside, Rondo. Clock at six. Oh, what a finish in traffic! My goodness! Boy, his shot looks deadly right now. Already he's hit three of four to start. Here's Thomas. Pass to Harris. Beyond the arc. And the three-pointer goes. And the Raptors lead by eight. <laughs> this night already has the... of an offensive war. Well, the fans love it. Coaches may not like the lack of defense, but boy, the rules promote scoring, no doubt. Well, offense is the order of the day as the first quarter comes to a close. Raptors out in front, up eight. And back to the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. You know, you take a look at the Raptors' performance here, guys. What are your thoughts? Well, it seems like they went in looking to do damage from long range, and they faced little resistance. And that was obviously the plan coming in. Now the big question, can they maintain that efficiency from range as the game goes along? The Raptors shooting about 56% in this one. Chris Boucher out there with Aaron Baines. 
Then it's DeAndre Bembry. And it's Watson in at the three, the small forward. That's the five out there for the Raptors. Off the inbound. Bembry shot is good. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. Atlanta's gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Young, the pass to Gallinari. That one's good, and it's Young with the assist. Gallinari's got six points. And off the jump, they were effective from deep. I don't know why they haven't continued to fire from out there. Pass to Boucher. Out to the right wing. Harris outside. Shot clock at five. Now here's Collins. Six points for him. All right, let's get a report from Allie. John Collins grew up in a military family, his parents both serving for decades. He said, quote, there were a lot of guidelines and regulations. It gives you discipline. And one thing the military shows you is that you're fighting for something bigger than yourself. I think that translates on the court. Guys, invaluable stuff. I think so, too. Thanks a lot, Allie. Good stuff there. And the foul called on Danilo Gallinari. That's his first foul. Well, Grant, I'm more of a paint-by-numbers guy, but among your interest is real art. What sparked your interest in that area? <laughs> B.A., my, my parents were collectors. Uh, obviously, I started to collect in college, and then when my budget changed when I became an NBA ball player, I was able to enhance my collection. But it's been great, and one of the sort of outside the box hobbies that I've enjoyed and when you look at the NBA now there's plenty of athletes doing things that are sort of outside the box uh, so it's so gratifying to watch these young men continue to pursue interest outside of the game of basketball the Grant Gallery coming soon to you Ah, I like that I like that and it's Harris with the rebound for Toronto they've gone just one of three to begin the second quarter Back to Powell. Three-pointer. The rebound by the Hawks. He has that confidence rolling, hitting two threes in the first, but he hasn't had one since. Baines against Young. Here's Collins. And he finishes. That makes him four out of five. Fantastic concentration by Collins. Beating good D is what separates the good from the great in this league. Inside. Pass to Bembry. Powell right side. Trying to get back on track. And again, no good by Toronto. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards. Fighting hard for every miss. Young on the attack. Chalk up two there. Now just a two-point Raptor lead. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. And just a great screen. And they got a high-powered finish out of it. And my question is, where was the help? Someone rotate over and challenge. Pass to Collins. Here's Snell. Collins a screen. He takes it in. Now here's Herter. And he makes it. Herter's got 10 points. Boy, absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets here. And it's Powell off the drive. Oh! No, he did it! Punch it home! Nice! This is Powell at his best. In attack mode, he is hard to stop. Outside Young. Pass to Gallinari. Outside Herter. Let's go with a three. Another three for Atlanta. Well, that's his shot right there. You know if he gets any kind of room, he's going to dial it up from distance. Powell with it. 12 points for him. From deep. 
Here's Boucher. Drops in the layup for two. Boucher's got his second basket. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. And here's Young. He's got 13. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. To the paint. And finished off by Boucher. Mm, slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. Outside Young. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Ice Trey. You know, what's amazing to me about Trey Young is his accomplishments early in his career. The statistical feats he's pulled off this early in his career, wow. We've never seen a young player do what he's done. Free throw is good. Young. Well, to your point, those amazing stats that Young has put up, some of it is the era. Nevertheless, it's impressive. Great point. I mean, Young was the first to have 15 assists and five threes multiple times in a season and was the fastest to 350 made three-pointers beating Lillard's mark. Now, of course, those might seem like cherry-picked stats, but Young's beating out some big names early in his career to reach those marks. Young, the pass to Collins. And Collins with the slam. And if you foul a big like Collins, you better not let them get the shot off or they'll have a chance to put up another point. Well, Grant, you could be described as one of the earlier point forwards. Man, we see more of that type of player today. You know, B.A., we really do. And I'm not quite sure I would be able to play in today's <laughs> game because everybody is a point forward. But I attribute that to how the game has changed. It's grown. It's evolved through the years. We have this thing now, positionless basketball. Uh, there's a necessity for multidimensional, versatile players who can do everything on the court shoot, pass, rebound, defend, and certainly it's great in the league now that we have so many players who can do that. Come on, G-Money, your game is timeless, man. <laughs> hey, it's been a while since I've called a game, so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting in the groove. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. That free throw good from Lowry. I think now that he's become a perennial all-star, it's easy to forget. It wasn't until his ninth year in the league that Kyle Lowry made his first all-star game. Young with it. Baines picks him up. And that one's good. Young. Young's got nine points in the quarter. The Raptors have gotten seven of 12 shots to go here in the second. Lowry outside. Knocks down the triple. And for so many teams in the NBA, establishing the three-point shot is goal number one on offense. He's definitely doing his part tonight. No doubt it's a growing trend, Greg, and he is highly accurate tonight. And Kyle Lowry is going to pick up the foul. That'll be a second foul of the game. Johnson, he's checked in for Bembry. Bogdanovich has checked in for the Hawks. So it's Atlanta now. Pass to Gallinari. Collins a screen. 18 feet out. Drained it for two points. Gallinari's got eight. And there's some nice chemistry on offense. They're just taking what the defense allows. Now Powell. 12 points for him. And here's Lowry. Driving to the basket. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Lowry's got 29 points. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Young against Lowry. Young, the pass to Collins. 
Here's Bogdanovich. And the foul called on Aaron Baines. That's foul number two for him. To a certain extent, you like the aggressiveness, but that's two fouls already. Take a step back. The Raptors making a switch here. Thomas has checked in. There's Young with the three. Nails it from beyond the arc. He's got 21. Well, this quarter has been all about this guy. He is trying to close the gap in the score. Lowry against Young. Lowry, no good. Atlanta's gone two of three from the three-point line in the second. Young against Lowry. Here's the three. And it's Toronto with a rebound. Oh, the teardrop falls in. Lowry's got 31. Give him another. This guy may not be the tallest or most athletic, but Kyle Lowry can find ways to score. Picked his pocket. Jacks up a three. That shot is off. So Atlanta will take it the other way. To the middle. Here's Gallinari. Here's Watanabe. Driving inside. And there's contact and a whistle. So he's got two shots coming up. And Atlanta gets called for the foul. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. You know, Grant, with the pace of the game today, we know speed kills. In your mind, who's the fastest player going end to end? And that's a tough one right there, B.A. There's some great players in the open floor with the basketball. I think of Ja Morant, uh, Russell Westbrook, uh, Kimba Walker. But I have to go with Donovan Spider Mitchell. So good, so fast, so effective. Yeah, just knocking down every free throw. I mean, I love to see this kind of efficiency. Outside, Hill. Outside, Gallinari. The Raptors with a lead. Now here's Lowry. He came away with 14 points in his last game. Pass to Watson. Fires in the triple. You simply must play better defense than that. This guy is too good from distance. Atlanta's gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Outside Gallinari, looking to end the run. And it's good on the layup. Gallinari's got six here in the quarter. Well, some contact there on the shot, but Danilo Gallinari, much improved upper body strength, maintains his focus nicely done. Pass to Thomas. From the arc. That's good. And so Lowry with the assist. Lowry's got three assists now in this one. Atlanta's gone two of four from beyond the arc in the second quarter. Outside Gallinari. And he drives in. And that one is hammered home. The ability to adjust with traffic around. My goodness, Danilo doing work on the drive. Pass to Johnson. Here's Watson. Here's Thomas. Oh, again, Toronto with a triple. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Rondo with it. And here's Bogdanovich. He had nine points in his last time out. got a piece of it and he recovers it shot clock at two they get it back a Kongwu and he goes in for the dunk 
Just great energy on the offensive glass. That's exactly how you cut into a lead. Boy, a slam like that is sure to give him a spark. Johnson with a bucket. Now Rondo. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Pass to Gallinari. There's Bogdanovich with the three. And it's Watanabe with the rebound. The Raptors shooting 61% for the game. Knocking him down. A minute four left to play in the first half. And down it goes. Two points. Lowry's got 33 points. Well, you love that they've been able to rely on him time and time again. You love the effort here late. Outside Bogdanovich. Here's Hill. Connects from downtown. Hill's got himself on the board with a three there. Got to fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. And he's just crushing them with plays like that. I mean, just continuing to pile it on. You want to make sure your opponent knows they have absolutely zero chance of a comeback. And nice finish by him. Boucher's checked in for Toronto. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And that one misses. And, and you think about this, B.A., all Gallinari has done throughout his career is produce. Yet, for some reason, he's been involved in some of the biggest trades in NBA history. Of course, that started with the Carmelo Anthony deal back in 2011. Boy, he's been cooking, but the teammates, he's just not getting a lot of support from them. Lowry outside. Pass to Watanabe. Takes a three. And out of bounds. The Hawks will have it. So we conclude the first half. Raptors out in front, leading by 10. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. We've reached halftime of our first regular season game. I'm swimming. I thought you thought maybe the first half was going swimmingly. <laughs> Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet, Shaquille. Kyle Lowry had a huge first quarter. He ended up with 33 points, four assists, and one rebound. And let's get your thoughts, big fella, on the Raptors. You know what, Ernie? I got to stand up on this one. I salute to their bench. Man, once the starters came out, man, the others just came to life. You got to love seeing that kind of contribution come from the others. Man, they look beautiful tonight. And Kenny, what you think about Atlanta? I felt they had a lack of intensity defensively. They gave up way too many threes. I mean, somebody needs to pull out the fire holes because this fire is out of control, and it certainly wasn't because of their defense. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. And if you're just joining in, one half is in the books. One half to go. What can you say? Kyle Lowry, an impressive effort here today. Yeah, tonight he's done a great job of slashing through the lane and finishing. And part of that has to do with his mindset. He has been looking to push the action at every opportunity, and he has been in attack mode all night. 
And we've got third quarter basketball here. Two quarters in the books. The Raptors shooting 61% for the game, knocking them down. And Atlanta looking at who they've got. Young is flanked by Herter in the backcourt. John Collins out there with Danilo Gallinari. And it's Snell in at the small forward position. Wow, it's good. We call that floor vision, gentlemen. Kyle Lowry with the pretty pass. Pass to Young. Back to Herter. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. So it's Toronto now. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. Pass to Watanabe. Reigns a screen on Gallinari. Back to Lowry. It's good. Lowry's got 35 in the game. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Atlanta's gotten six of 13 shots to go from outside the arc. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. Brian, the Raptors have one of the most loyal followings. None more so than superfan Nav Bhatia, who's barely missed a home game since the beginning. Last year, he was the first fan in NBA history to receive an authentic championship ring. Not only that, he was honored by the Basketball Hall of Fame in their new Superfan Gallery. Guys, pretty sweet. No question. Allie, thanks. And that one drops for him. Young's got 23. Yeah, just doing his part. Staying active and converting at a high rate. And he has really kept them in this one. The high effort level. Now the rest of the team has got to step up. Probably a play they drew up in the locker room at half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible. And boy, that's a terrific start right there. Herder gets the bucket. I tell you, he's making everything he looks at tonight. He should be their number one option on every possession. Now here's Powell. Herder defending. Powell in the post. And Collins with the big block. You can't sleep on Collins' long arms when he's defending you. He'll swat you down all day with that long reach. And he makes a first. And the Raptors making a change here. Johnson's checked in. That one's no good. For Atlanta, they've gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. And the call will be against John Collins. That's foul number two for him. And great job to establish position and square up. And a chance there to look back at the stunning mobile one block a moment ago. I mean, I just love how he, he reads the play so well and gets himself in the air at the perfect moment. I mean, that was a terrific denial. Toronto has gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. It's Powell on the wing. Herder defending. Into the lane. Good on the bucket. And the Raptors lead by 13. Yeah, showing a little versatility with their offensive attack. In the first half, it was about the three ball. In the second half, they've emphasized interior scoring. And Young gets it to go. Sometimes it's simple. Put the ball in the hands of your scorers and let them do what they do best. Lowry outside. Driving in. 
And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Well, toughness being shown right there by Kyle Lowry. There's no doubt he is this team's bull. He will finish and head to the line. The Hawks have gotten four of their first five shots to go since the break. To the inside, Herder. Oh, there's a killer two-hand slam. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. Where was the defense? No help. You can't afford to give up these kinds of buckets. Lowry, no good. In the first half, he was on fire from range, but he hasn't knocked one down since. And there's Young. That's good. On the assist from Gallinari. Gallinari's got three assists tonight. Lowry, the pass to Baines. Just over three and a half minutes through the third. Powell, left side. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. Powell's got five points now this quarter. If you give up deep post positioning to Norman Powell, forget about it. This guy is skilled at scoring in the paint. Here's Young. And he banks in the layup. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. Here's Powell. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. Powell's got 19. I'll tell you, I'd love to see someone take the contact head on. And Norman Powell welcoming the challenge. Here's Young. Off the left rim and out. And it didn't fall, but still a great look. You know, it can be frustrating when you make the right play and fail to reap the rewards. You just have to stay with it here. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Hawks. For Atlanta, they've gotten seven of their nine shots to fall. Quality shooting in the second half. Poke loose. Now here's Lowry. He's got 40 now. Shoots over Young. Lowry, no good. Atlanta's gone 6 of 14 from the perimeter tonight. Gallinari, the pass to Young. Banked it in off the glass. Young's got 10 points in just the second half. Well, the problem is they haven't gotten production from any other spot. But right now, this guy is cooking. Young against Lowry. Baines a screen on Young. It's Lowry with a drive. Oh, trying his luck from deep. The rebound by the Hawks. Collins is... Delinari finds Young. Here's Collins. And Collins with the slam. A big time throwdown. Check him out. Keeps the grip on that rim after the finish. A little extra emphasis. Powell with it. Picked up by Collins. Stolen by Collins. Pass to Herder. Lowry against Young. Here he goes. And he gets it to go. Young's got 12 now in this quarter. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. Lowry against Young. Here's Lowry. And Collins with the big block. To the right side. Puts up a three. Gets the three ball to go. And now just a three-point Toronto lead. And what's working here... Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Well, historically in his career, Danilo Gallinari, whenever he's been healthy, he's had a huge impact on his franchise, especially at the offensive end. He's a knockdown shooter. He can put it on the deck. He can finish through contact. He's automatic if he gets to the free throw line. Here's Herver. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Well, he had the defense's attention, dropping two threes in the first half, but he hasn't made one since. Pass to Johnson. Back to Powell. 
Baines with the ball. Picked up by Collins. Tipped away. The three. That one's true. And that's nine for 12 for him now. Well, they're not behind because of this guy. He is putting on a tremendous run. And you know, the one thing that's helped Danilo Gallinari over the past few seasons, load management, Doris. It's an accepted strategy for keeping players fresh. Right. For him, B.A., it all started with the bad back, which he developed after just 11 minutes of playing time as a rookie. But now the team knows when to play him and when to rest him. And I think that will help prolong. his career and no doubt coach wants them to improve their interior defense I think right now they're giving up way too many easy looks that is a recipe for disaster pass to Johnson here's Thomas from behind the arc that shot off the mark good D by Bogdanovich Here's Thomas. Collins defending. Three-pointer. Thomas misses. And here are the Hawks now. They're on an 18-7 run. Bogdanovich with it. Pass to Collins. Puts it up from 12. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Boucher's got a rebound number five here tonight. Harris outside. Here's Watson. That falls. Nice setup by Harris. Five points in the game. Sometimes with that much of a height advantage, resistance is futile. Outside Bogdanovich. Off target from outside. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Pass to Johnson. Here's Watson. He's got five. Thomas misses. He is too good a shooter, guys, to be left open like that. The defense just dodged a bullet there. Outside, Hill. Here's a Kongwu. Collins outside. Takes it inside. Harris. That one goes in. And it's a seven-point Raptor lead. There's just no reason to give him inside position. Coaches call that doing your work early. If you are there defensively, it really does not allow for him to establish that kind of excellent positioning down low. They set the pick. Bogdanovich from long range. And it's Boucher with the rebound. Boucher's got his seventh rebound here tonight. For three, here's Harris. Sinks the tray. Harris has got eight points. What a beautiful stroke from range. Defensively, you've got to try to take him out of his comfort zone. Pass to Collins. Outside Bogdanovich. Back to Collins. Now here's Bogdanovich to end the run. Good on the shot. Bogdanovich has gotten his second bucket of the game. <laughs> nice awareness there from the big man Collins. Solid at finding his teammates when they're open. Here's Thomas. Defended by Bogdanovich. Here's Johnson. And the Raptors, another three. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. And there's the screen. Throws it up high. And then it's Collins with the dunk. Man, you love how Collins has developed his game offensively. More moves inside, more range, and more confidence. Here's Watson. And there's the drive. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. 
heady play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. That one misses. The Hawks making a switch here. Herders checked in. That's off as well, so he misses both. Atlanta's gone two of six from downtown here in the second half. Outside, Hill. Pass to Bogdanovich. Outside, Rondo. Going inside to the paint. Here's Collins. It's deflected. They get it back. Not a lot falling for him in this quarter. He's got to stay aggressive, try to break through. See if you can get an easy opportunity. Here's Watson, and the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. They'll pin that one on Rajon Rondo. The first free throw is good. Trey Young, he's checked in for Rondo. Off on that one, so he goes one out of two at the line. Atlanta is shooting 61% for the game. Knocking him down. Pass to Bogdanovich. On the take. Count it. Bogdanovich has got seven points. Well, exposing a weakness in the defense. That's just way too easy, guys. Might be a good idea to run the clock. Hold it for the last shot. It's all about patience right here. Patience and execution. Get a good look. Here's Watanabe. Two on the clock. Here's Boucher. And as we end the third quarter, a great game. Both teams playing well. It's the Raptors. They lead by eight. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And from the two-guard spot, an unselfish play like this sets a fantastic tone. Well, having multiple playmakers on the floor makes you a much tougher team to defend. Fourth quarter action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. The Hawks trailing. Lowry and Powell are the backcourt set. Chris Boucher out there with DeAndre Bembry. And it's Baines in at the center position. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. Toronto on D. They've led by as many as 14. Outside, Hill. Pass to Gallinari. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Young. Well, Lowry not giving an inch. Contesting that shot beautifully on the defensive end. 
foul outside. The three is up. The shot no good. And Atlanta will go the other way with it. It's Herter on the wing. Fires from deep. The rebound by Lowry. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. Pass to Bembry. Drives to the hoop. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That one on Young. Almost converts despite the contact. That free throw misses. No good on the second free throw. Pass to Young. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. He's shooting the lights out down the stretch, trying to keep them competitive. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. And the free throw, no good. The Raptors with a lead. For three, Powell buries it from three. Powell's got ten points here in the second half. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. And Kyle Lowry is going to pick up the foul. That'll be foul number five on him. Lowry against Young. Floats one, and it's rejected. And a little over a minute and a half gone by in the fourth. Here's Lowry. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Lowry's got 45 points. This guy has been unstoppable. It has not mattered at all what the defense throws at him. He's had an answer. Here's Young, outside Herter. That one's good, and it's Young with the assist. Young's got nine assists now tonight. <laughs> you can feel the temperature rising in this arena. Both teams pouring it on offensively. There's been a bit of a flurry here late, and this game may come down to which side gets a stop or two. Lowry, no good. Atlanta's gone one for two from deep in this fourth quarter. Now here's Young. Defense is right there. Rejected. Powell outside. Down low. Here's Boucher. And finished off by Boucher. And after putting it down, he dangles from the rim a little. Man, that's borderline taunting right there, Grant. They're playing with a certain swagger right now. Over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. For Atlanta, they've gotten only two of six attempts to drop in the fourth. Here's Young. Count it and the foul. Lowry. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he'll sit the rest of this one out. Thomas, he's checked in for Lowry. Shot. 
Free throw is good. Young. Yeah, if you're just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Powell outside. Over Herter. The offensive rebound. And finished off by Boucher. And I just love how he's making the effort plays that everyone around him appreciates. It is certainly making an impact tonight. No doubt on the scoreboard, in the body language of the players, you can tell which team is in complete command. Outside Young. Pass to Herder. There's the triple. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Boucher's got rebound number 11. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We played about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter here. We've seen this before. When Norman Powell's game starts to get in rhythm, he can dominate. And here is Young. Young drawing the double team. Gallinari for three. Atlanta again missing. Toronto's gone two of four from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Bembry. Here's Thomas. And they pick up two. And the Raptors lead by 15. The Hawks have gotten just three of nine shots to go in. Struggling this fourth quarter. Here's Gallinari. Well, Gallinari has both the size and the finesse to finish on the interior or to get to the foul line. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Well, as a young player, Danilo Gallinari played in some pressure-packed environments. I think he played for Milan in Italy. They love their hoops and take it seriously. And then straight to the Knicks as a 20-year-old. Boy, he can handle the spotlight. Collins, he's checked in for the Hawks. And so he hits both. He's one of the league's best free throw shooting bigs. A performance like this certainly proves it. Now Powell. With the drive. Stolen by Collins. Now here's Young. And Young draws the double. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Young. Listen, turnovers happen. You've got to move on to the next play. For Toronto. Toronto, they've gone six for nine here in the fourth quarter. Baines, a screen on Young. Here's Powell. A strong finish under heavy pressure from the D. Powell's got eight points here in the quarter. Young with it. Inside. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. As a scorer in every sense of the word, you know Danilo is thinking, let me finish and get to the foul line. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. Staring at this deficit, they're trying to be more aggressive and get themselves to the line. The Raptors have gotten seven of their first ten shots to go during this fourth quarter. The drive by Powell over Herter. No good off the back of the rim. The Hawks have gone four for ten in the fourth. Collins outside. 
Shoots over Powell. Collins, no good. Toronto's gone two of four from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Baines, a screen on Young. The drive by Powell. Now here's Young. Not a lot of room. Pass to Snell. Oh, the Hawks again cannot hit it. Toronto shooting 58% from the floor. Terrific here in the fourth. Powell with it. Picked up by Collins. Powell passes to Baines. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. And the Raptors lead by 14. Sometimes a player is born with a passer's mindset. He deals it with conviction. Outside Young. To the middle. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. <laughs> the contact wasn't going to hold Collins down. He explodes into it and finds the shot. You know, Grant, a few years ago, the NBA moved up the trade deadline to before All-Star Weekend. So it's had some effects. The trade deadline is earlier. There's the buyout market involved as well. Teams really can change their roster in different ways now. Yeah, they really can change their roster, and that's important for teams as they prepare for the stretch run ending the season post-All-Star Weekend. But the bottom line, I think it helps the GMs and the front offices because you know what? They can enjoy their All-Star Weekend now. Before, they had to wait till after All-Star Weekend to execute a trade. They get it done now, and then now they can enjoy their week off during the All-Star break. Ah, now we get the real story. <laughs> Very nice. The big time throwdown. Check him out. Keeps the grip on that rim after the finish. A little extra emphasis. Here's Thomas, guarded by Young. Powell outside. And stolen by Herter. And now the Hawks on the break. Ball's going up the court. A nice shot by Gallinari. They've been aggressive during this run, but they've also played under control. I think the communication on offense is working at every level right now. What a run for this group. And count it. The shot is good, and he'll go to the line. And you have to love the focus. He gets hit, but converts it anyway. Harris has checked in for Toronto. Atlanta's gone one for five from downtown here in the fourth. Outside Gallinari. There's the drive. And count the basket. He was fouled. And he's going to the line for one more. And after attempting no free throws in the first half, now he's putting the defense back on its heels. The Raptors with a lead. Powell outside. To the inside. And the basket by Baines. Baines has got four points this quarter. Great timing and coordination. Lays it in coming off that pick. Oh, wow! He almost brought the basket down on top of himself. Oh, there's hang time, and then there's a the time to hang. Harris passes to Baines. Now here's Powell. Herder defending. And Powell with the stuff. Woohoo! The leaping ability of Norman Powell. Throw it down, sir. Here's Young. Uses the glass on the layup. Young's got 40 points. Even if this game doesn't go their way, he has to be proud of his performance tonight. Here's Harris. 
to the paint. Here's Powell. That falls. Nice setup by Harris. Harris has got three assists now in this one. Well, they're leading in large part because of the work he's put in in this quarter. This is nicely done. Here's Gallinari. And the shot goes down. Gallinari's got 26. Gallinari in the zone. Defenders off balance. Look out. Baines, a screen on Young. Harris on the attack. And he comes up with a bucket. And here is Young. And he's going for the oop here. And the ball out of play. The Raptors will have it. That looks like a lack of focus. You've got to question what he was trying to accomplish there. Toronto has gone two of four from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Baines with a screen. Powell, it's good. And now it's an 11 point Raptor lead. Boy, it seems like every shot he puts up, it's going in. This guy is hot, hot. Young against Harris. With the floater, fires the three. That's good from Gallinari. On the assist by Young. He has 29 now. Well, just tremendous quickness and great release by Danilo Gallinari. Catch and shoot is easy money for him. The drive by Powell. And Powell with the stuff. He's just an aggressive finisher there inside. Hey, when you got bounce like that, you feel like you can take on anybody. Young drawing the double team. Here's Herger. No good on the three. Pass to Powell. To the wing on the left. There's a minute 40 left in the fourth quarter. Six on the shot clock. Here's Watanabe. Drives to the hoop. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. He's undersized for a four, but his hops level the playing field. Pass to Gallinari. This one for three. Powell with a steal. 116 left in the fourth quarter. For three, here's Harris. It's hauled in by Herter. And the Hawks shooting it at 61%. A terrific average. Barring a miracle comeback, this one is wrapped up. They were able to control the tempo and flow of the game, and it will end in a victory for the Raptors. And it was dueling three-pointers all night. A battle they won. Both teams had the same plan. Win the game on the perimeter. So fun to watch. Here's Young. Hits it from the high post. Young's got 42 in the game. We can't forget about Young's in-between game. When he notices these shots are open, he's so good at taking them. Powell with it. Picked up by Collins. And it's blocked by Collins. And it's out of bounds. The Raptors able to retain possession here. And the Hawks going with a whole new group out there. And so here is Toronto. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Thomas. Basket's good. And the Raptors lead by 14. With very little left on the clock, they've got a comfortable lead, and the fans are loving it. Well, they're getting ready to celebrate, no doubt. They know it's theirs to lose at this point. So no problem for Toronto as they get the win. A clean win and one where they clearly showed better energy. Yes, yeah, so true. They put on a show here at home. And I really think they had that extra swagger and confidence too. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now.
For Allie LaForce, Doris Burke, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson alongside our 2K Sports crew thanking you for watching. So long, everybody.